Hi everyone, it's James, uh, BD594. Tonight I thought I'd take a break and uh, for my robot band and I uh, need to test uh, uh, some proof of concept. I'm working on another project uh, that I'm going to be using this glove and a Tesla coil. Actually, I'll be using this Tesla that's work in progress. Uh, but before I proceed, I want to make sure this, this will work. So uh, again, I can't tell you what it's for it's going to be for a youtube video but i don't want to give all the details uh again this is just proof of concept so this is uh my old tesla coil it's about three four years old i made it uh 95 percent of it is stuff from home depot i'll quickly go over it uh so here is a deadman switch i made it allows me to uh work with high voltage circuits and i can turn them on and off quite rapidly so uh down here uh, there's a neon transformer uh, that basically gets the uh, 120 volts AC, steps it up to 600 volts AC. That 600 volts AC uh, arcs across these uh, tongue skin rods, the same uh, material that used to be made in uh, incandescent light bulbs. And here is a hand-wound LC, oh, well this is a, a, a circuit, a coil, and this is a, a high voltage capacitor. The uh, LC circuit in combination with the arcing causes the uh, the circuit to oscillate and uh, the primary coil is just uh, water pipes uh, copper tubing uh, so that 600 volts uh, will uh, pulsate here and creates an EMF field and this coil the secondary coil is uh, I hand wound this coil by the way and it's on uh, like a plastic pipe again from Home Depot and that takes the 600 volts and steps it up to 350,000 volts. So what I'm going to test with this glove, uh, again, I'm going to use it as um, similar to what's called a Faraday cage. Uh, I'm not going to go over how that works, just Google it. Basically, the high voltage will travel through the glove to ground and it won't rather than traveling through my body because, uh, as you guys know, you don't want 350,000 volts traveling through your body. So here we go. And uh, here's the uh, arc gap, spark gap, or whatever you want to call it. That's what makes that loud sound. Yeah, so basically it works. Proof I just proved the proof of concept that I'm still alive. So um, I can proceed with the other project. Uh, I'll post that on YouTube when it's done. I think you guys would be pretty amazed to see what I'm going to do with it. Talk to you later.